Normally, Andrew is content to just scratch and damage himself oh, going? and his bike. But when he sees another vehicle on the track, somehow he is irresistibly drawn to scratching that one as well. <laughs> I'd, I'd put an insurance claim in on that. He honestly, he just damages people's vehicles. We, we fall go. off our bikes a lot, and thankfully most of the time it's at low speed in first gear. Often, we aren't moving at all, as demonstrated by Scott. <laughs> oh, no. They're just about out. I think he's marking his territory there. Just doing some yoga back. <laughs> Look more like Pilates to me. But of course, the big injuries can still happen. And as most of you know, I recently broke my back riding on our slow technical trails. So why do we enjoy activities which can maim and even kill us? For thousands of years, we needed to accept certain risks in order to survive. This really sucked for the woolly mammoth, as explained in these illustrations from the journal of Enduro in the Paleolithic era. <laughs> so our brains have been trained to enjoy risk. Whoa! <laughs> I thought I was going to run you over then. Deep in our brain, the amygdala releases a combination of dopamine, adrenaline, endorphins and other chemicals. There is usually a huge sense of relief and well-being when you face a fear that doesn't materialise. It's a significant part of who we are as humans. The fact you ride a motorbike at all suggests you enjoy the thrill more than the average person. Of course, most of us do what we can to minimise the risks. We wear appropriate protective gear. From traction erag, ride for weeks by recycling farts to fuel your engine, convert your poo into energy bars, and urine is recycled into your hydration pack. And at each traction erag event, we start each week with our talk about the comfort zone. It goes something like this. Righto chaps, a splendid week ahead of us. Let's start off nice and safe as we want to last the distance. But we are here to have fun, so midweek let's ramp it up a bit, take some risks. Now obviously you thrill seekers will want to ride outside the comfort zone, but please don't stay out there for too long, there's a good chap. <laughs> we want you to go home alive if possible. So, whether you are hunting mammoths or riding, say, a 500cc two-stroke, remember this thrill-seeking is buried deep within your genetic code. Yes, it will hurt you. There's even a small chance it will kill you. But there will also be many magic moments when you feel incredibly alive in a way that non-riders will never know. <laughs>